Hello, in this video, we are going to learn about advanced features of Tux Paint. In our last video, we saw how Tux Paint allows us to draw, paint, and edit pictures using various tools such as brushes, erasers, and draw various shapes and lines. In this video, we will learn some advanced features in Shape Tool, Text Tool, Stamp Tool, and Magic Tool. Let's start with Shape Tool. This tool lets you draw some basic shapes such as square, rectangle, circle, and many more. When you click on the Shape Tool, in the selector, you will see two types of each shape, filled and unfilled. At the bottom of the selector, there are two buttons to choose the Shape Tool's behavior. First one is to draw shapes from center. If you select this, and click and drag on the canvas with the mouse, the shape will expand from where you initially clicked and will be centered around that position. Second one is to draw shape from the corner. Here when you draw on the canvas, the shape will extend from one corner starting from where you initially clicked. Once you have released the mouse, you can then move the mouse around the canvas to rotate the shape. Click the mouse button again and the shape will be drawn in the current color. Now let's see the text tool. It allows you to add text to your drawing. When you click on text tool, a choice of fonts appears on the selector. You can select a font and a color from the color palette. When you click on the screen, a cursor will appear. Now when you type text, it will show up on the screen. When you press enter or return, the text will be drawn onto the picture and the cursor will move down one line. Or you can also press tab and the text will be drawn onto the picture but the cursor will move to the right of the text for you to continue writing. This can be useful to create a line of text with mixed colors, fonts, styles and size. Clicking elsewhere in the picture while the text entry is still active causes the current line of text to move to that location where you can continue to edit it. You can also increase or decrease the size of the font from the selector. You can also make your text in bold or italics. New version of Tux Paint also has a label tool. Here the text floats over the image and you can reposition and edit the label anytime later unlike text tool. Try drawing an image on top of your label. You will see it is floating over the image and not hide below the image. Next to paint is the stamp tool. The stamp tool is like a set of rubber stamps or stickers. It lets you paste pre-drawn or photographic images in your picture. When you click on stamp tool, it will show all different stamps available on the selector. You can select any of the stamps and then click on the canvas to paste it on your picture. If you do not see all of these stamps on your Tux Paint window, do not worry. You just need to download the stamp separately from the Tux Paint site and restart Tux Paint again. In the selector, you will see a set of arrows pointing left and right. You can use these to select the categories of stamps like animals, plants, vehicles, etc. Once you have selected a category, you can use the up and down arrows to see all stamps in that category. After selecting a stamp, if you move the mouse around the canvas, you will see an outline follows the mouse showing where the stamp will be placed and how big it will be. Only when you click, the stamp will be actually pasted. Depending on the stamp, you can apply various effects. Some stamps can be colored or tinted. If the color palette below the canvas is activated, you can click the colors to change the tint or color of the stamp before placing it in the picture. Stamps can be shrunk and expanded too. 
by clicking within the triangular shaped series of bars at the bottom right. The larger the bar, the larger the stamp will appear in your picture. Many stamps may be flipped vertically or displayed as mirror images using the control buttons at the bottom right. Now we will explore magic tool which is actually a set of special best tools. It lets you add special effects to your image. It has tools which you can use to drag and drop effects, give effects on part of the image or on entire image. Let's take a look at them. First we will see tools which you can drag and then drop effects on the screen. Let's start with the grass tool which helps you to paint grass on the image. The higher up the canvas, the smaller the grass is drawn, giving an illusion of perspective. The grass can be tinted various greenish hues by selecting different colors in the palette. Next is bricks. This tool can be used to intelligently paint large and small brick patterns on the canvas. You can choose various reddish hues by selecting different colors in the color palette. Similarly is foam where you can click and drag the mouse to draw foamy bubbles and glass tiles in which it makes it looks like it has been seen through glass tiles. You can also have fretwork which lets you draw repetitive patterns like rope or rails which draws connected locomotive train rails on your picture. Next is confetti which you can drag to throw confetti around your picture or rain which paints raindrop on your picture. Then there are a set of mosaic tools which adds a glass mosaic effect to your picture. It can be mosaic, hexagon, irregular mosaic or square mosaic. Next are some special types of brushes like calligraphy brush which allows you to paint on the canvas with a calligraphy pen. Or you can choose rainbow brush which gives a spectrum of bright colors and XOR colors which draws an XOR effect. Similarly, metal paint brush is used to draw shiny metal using the current color. You can also have toothpaste brush which paints thick blobs of color on your picture that looks like toothpaste. Real rainbow tool is used to draw a transparent arc that looks like a real rainbow. ROYGBIV rainbow draws an arc of rainbow colors. The string corner tool is used to draw V-shaped string art at right angles. Now we will cover some tools that can add effects on your existing image. First is blur tool. This makes the picture fuzzy whenever you drag the mouse on it. Next is cartoon. This makes the picture looks like a cartoon with thick outline and bright solid colors wherever you move the mouse. Similarly, we have chalk. This makes part of the image where you move the mouse to look like a chalk drawing. Next is color and white. This makes part of your picture two colors, white and the color chosen in the palette. For example, if you choose green, you will see a green and white picture. Now let's see darken. This darken the colors whenever you drag the mouse. If you drag the mouse at the same spot many times, it will eventually become black. Similarly, we have lighten. This fades the color when you drag the mouse. If you drag the mouse at the same spot many times, it will eventually become white. There is also a light tool. This draws a glowing beam on the canvas in the currently selected color. The more you use it on one spot, the more white it becomes. Let's see some other tools. First is edges. It traces the edges in your picture over a white background. Next is emboss. This makes part of your picture look embossed. Wherever there are sharp edges in your picture, the picture will look raised like it was stamped in metal. Another interesting tool is fish eye. It warps part of your picture 
like it's being seen through a fish eye lens. The puzzle tool slides part of your picture around like a sliding puzzle. Similarly, the ripple tool is used to make water ripple distortions appear over it. The Silhouette tool is used to trace the edges in your picture over a black background. The Smudge tool pushes the color around under the mouse like finger painting with wet paint. The Drip tool makes the paint drip whenever you move the mouse. Similarly, the Tint tool is used to change the color or hue of the part of the picture to the selected color. Next is Distortion. This slightly distorts the picture whenever you move the mouse. The TV tool also distorts your picture so it looks like it is on television. First is Flip tool. Click and the entire image will be turned upside down. Similarly, there is Mirror. When you select this tool and click on your picture, the entire image will be horizontally reversed turning it into a mirror image. Next is Fold. If you click on a corner of your picture and drag towards the center, it will fold it up like a piece of paper. Let's see the negative tool which inverts the color wherever you drag the mouse. Example, white becomes black and vice versa. You can also change the perspective of your image with perspective tool. You can click and drag from the corners to change the perspective of your picture. Pattern tool is used to draw a tiled pattern around the picture. Snowball tools fills the picture with snowballs and snowflake tools fills the picture with snowflakes. Tiles tool draws a symmetrical pattern around the picture. Shift tool is used to shift your picture around the canvas. Anything that gets shifted off an edge reappears on the opposite edge. Next is Zoom tool. You can use it to click and drag up to zoom in or down or zoom out. We use the Waves tool to click and make the entire picture wavy side to side. Drag the mouse up and down to change the height of the ripples and left and right to change the width. Release the mouse button when it looks the way you like it. Next is Wavelets tool. It is also used to make the entire picture wavy up and down. Drag the mouse up and down to change the height of the ripples and left and right to change the width. Release the mouse button when it looks the way you like it. Then there are some special brushes which work across the screen. First is Kaleidoscope. This paint brush draws in four places at the same time mirroring symmetry both horizontally and vertically. It uses the currently selected color. Next is Rosette. This draws three brushes at a time in a rosette shape. The symmetry left and right tool is used to paint with reflective symmetry across the horizontal center of the image. The symmetry up and down tool is used to paint with reflective symmetry across the vertical center of the image. So these were the different magic tools you can use. In Open Tool, you can find Slideshow where it displays the series of picture one by one. You can adjust the speed of the slideshow from slow to fast by clicking on the sliding scale. So this is all about Tux Paint. Thank you and goodbye.